Peace, love, and light, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I see you, Tarot. So I'm going to be using my Soul's Journey deck. And this reading the video is not going to be too long here. I don't know. I just want to say keep your head up here. Somebody here might need to hear that. Keep your head up. It's okay. You're going to be just fine here, baby. You're going to be just fine. We got acceptance here at the bottom of the deck as I split it. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change here. So you might be in some type of circumstance here that you can't really change right now. And maybe you need to accept where you are in life right now and be more patient with yourself because things are going to get better for you. I'm hearing things are going to get better for you. So surrender. Surrender whatever it is to the divine. Somebody here needs to pray more. Pray. The divine wants you to pray here. Let's get some messages here for you guys. So I'm about the book of Psalms. Oh, we got peace here. Okay. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. Hmm. Peace, peace, peace. I don't know why I'm here. Rest in peace. But not rest in peace as in somebody is gone here, but rest in peace as in literally rest in peace. So get you some rest and some type of area that's peaceful for you. Maybe you need to go on more walks here. Maybe you need to do things that's more peaceful for you. Do things that's more loving. Listen to some loving music here. You need to surround yourself in the energy of peace at this time. I feel like something is about to be brought in for you. Some type of abundance here. Somebody's about to have some type of abundance here that's going to be brought in to them. Look at the card that's sticking out. Abundance. I'm telling you, somebody's about to get... Ooh, what's the sets right behind it? Yo, I'm telling you. I'm. It's okay. It's okay. What did I just what did I just say in the beginning? I, I forgot what I just said. Just a damn fast. What did I say? It's okay. I said more than it's okay. But whatever I said in the beginning, yeah, this is what the divine is saying. It's okay. Just rest in peace because I got you. I'm I'm making a whole table for you here. There's a whole table I'm making for you here. So you can feel very sad about something right now. You can feel down, but it's like you're too busy looking ahead, but you're not focusing on what's coming to you. The divine has your back here. Okay, the, the car has moved over here a little bit. I, I, the cars have moved, and I've seen the five of cups here. It's like the divine has your back. You feel like... Like, life is just knocking you down here with the cuffs being down. You feel like life is just knocking you down. Like, so much around you feel, you just feel so dead. You feel like every time you look up, things around you are just changing. Like, you're losing people. You may be losing jobs, losing money. But it's like, a lot of things around you are ending so these new things can come in. So you can have a new beginning. It's like you have to get rid of the old so the new can come in. So there's something very specific about your mindset here. Somebody here really needs to focus on changing their mindset around. To a more peaceful state. I'm going to clarify these cards here too. I'm not going to get that many. I'm just got a couple more. What else do you need to cut the snow at this time, Levine? Oh, we got relationships, baby. I'm telling you. <laughs> and if there are no type of abundance, like you got money coming in, you got love coming in, and friendships, new friendships coming in, a lover. You about to get married here for some of you. Oh my gosh. There's a lot for you to look forward to. All these energies are very good. There's a lot for you to look forward to. But it's like, you have to, okay, this is one of the very powerful things about manifesting. You have to already be in the energy of what you want. So if you want peace, you need to be in the energy of peace right now. 
What would you do if you already had peace? What were some of the things that you would do if you already had peace? What are some of the things that you would do if you already had a, a good relationship? If you already had a whole bunch of money? Well, do those, try to do those things now. You know, make you a vision board. If you, you know, even if you're in an apartment right now, and you know that you want a mansion. Man, walk around that apartment like it's already a 10-bedroom mansion, whatever type of mansion that you want. Seriously. You might be in a house where it's very chaotic right now, a lot of drama, you know, and, and stuff like that. But you need to be the one to walk around that house like you're already at peace. You know, dust your shoulders off. Act as if, if none of that stuff is fading you. That's what I'm getting here. And it's going to be able to come in faster the more you get in this energy. Oh, we got service. I feel good when I can help others. I'm telling you. Divine is about to be a service for you. And you're going to have more than enough to help other people here. It's falling right up under abundance. You're going to have more than enough to help other people here. We got guilt with death right behind it here. Yeah, you need to trust yourself more. You need to kill Delph, this guilt mindset of yours. You can be very confused about something at this time. Free yourself from this type of mindset. Let me get one more. Ooh. We got gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Like, are you waking up with the attitude of gratitude? Like, really ask yourself, do you wake up and are you thankful for another day here? Are you thankful for the food that you get to eat? Are you thankful for the roof that you have over your head? Are you thankful for the things that you have that you know a lot of other people in the world might not have? Like, you have to think about that. You know, be grateful for some of the things that you have here, everything that you have. Because for one, for a person that has something, and the next person doesn't. Even if it's just, even if you just stand with somebody else, like, at least you still have a roof over your head. You got to be thankful for that. There's some people out here on the streets, you know, be thankful. And even if you are on the streets, still be thankful that, you know, you're on the streets and you're at peace. Like imagine somebody that do have a roof over their head, but they have to worry about being abused every single day. Right? Like every, however they're being abused. Like I'm just saying, like you just have to, you have to really open your mindset here and find a way to be more thankful, to be more peaceful with yourself. Clarify this piece here. I'm going to clarify each card. Peace, peace. So we got the four of wands with the sun at the bottom of the day. It's a whole family. You about to be gifted a whole family here. I'm hearing that song, um, first comes marriage, then comes kids. Oh, I forgot how to do it. It's, a, it's like a little riddle. I forgot how I go. I'm trying to think of it. With the baby carriage. Y'all get up trying to say. Y'all, some of y'all already know. Y'all know that rule I'm talking about here. And they go to death card right behind it. Again, I just seen the death card in that deck. So again, with the death card right along with the eight of swords, that's just like the death with the guilt that I just had. This is like guilt. You know, holding yourself back. Being blind, blindfolding yourself to the truth here. Being stuck in your head. You got to get really kill some type of guilt mindset. Like stop self-sabotaging yourself. It's time for you to stop self-sabotaging yourself. Maybe you holding on to some things here in the past that you need to get rid of and forgive. I don't know. Clarify abundance here. I don't want to make this too long. We got the three of swords. It's like the, you've been through a lot of things here. You've been back sad before. You cried a lot. You felt lost. You felt worried. You felt down. You might still be feeling this way right now. But again, you have to find a way to put yourself in the energy of love, in the energy of abundance, in the energy of peace. Do what it takes. What do you need to do to change your circumstances here? Like even if you are like in a household where things aren't going good for you right now, are you willing to sacrifice your comfortability of being in that household and going to a shelter here? Are you willing to sacrifice that? Not all shelters are bad. I'm just saying, like, you know, 
And some sometimes you have to take control of your life here and find a way to make your situation better if you feel like it's not already good. And think about, and again, think about along the way of other people's situation. Is your situation really that bad or are you just making it worse because of your mindset? Like, could you be more peaceful in a situation if you do feel like the situation is more chaotic? Are you to blame here? Look at yourself. You know, that's what it's giving me. But I don't feel like you're about to be rewarded here because you've been able to stand tall through a lot of things here. Care about this three of swords with abundance. Oh my goodness, we got the six of wands. You are about to be rewarded here because you was able to stand tall through a lot of things. Oh my goodness. And then you bringing people along the way with you. What did I just say when service came out? You're going to have more than enough to give to other people. And look at those people in the background. It ain't even just about you. It's about uh, the collective for you. Whether you realize this yet or not. And it needs to be like that for everybody in the collective. It needs to be like that where even if you don't see yourself as being this big time figure or whatever, you need to be in the energy of giving. Like you have to give to receive here. That's one of the laws of the universe, giving and receiving. You have to give to receive. So ask yourself, are you, once again, are you waking up with the attitude of gratitude? Are you giving back? You want to be giving too, but what are you giving out to the collective? You know? And if you don't know anything about this, well, then that's another reason to expand your consciousness, expand your awareness, grow, learn more. Clarify success here. Got two cards. We got the three of pentacles and it went from the three of pentacles to the four of pentacles. Yeah, this teamwork. I'm going to teamwork make the dream work, baby. Yeah. Teamwork made the dream work. Somebody's like about to get with a lot of people here and make some shit happen. Seriously. That's what I'm getting here. Like y'all are about to, you about to start some type of organization with somebody here. Somebody is very specifically is about to get with some people here and start something very big that's going to help a lot of people. Like giving back. Something very, something very specific about a non-profit here. Somebody wants to start a non-profit here. You want to give back to the homeless. Maybe you've experienced this yourself. Maybe you're experiencing it right now. If you know that some abundance is about to get ready to hit your way. And you're going to be giving back. It's like giving that Mr. Beast type of energy here. Give me one more for this three of pentacles or the four of pentacles. Look at that, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. You're going to help a lot of people as you climb the top of the wheel because you know what it's like to be at the bottom. You know what it's like to feel lost, to feel hopeless, to not have that many people to lean on, to like to always try to hold on to your strength here. You know what it's like to be at the bottom, point blank, period. So as you climb to the top, you're going to bring people with you. And you're going to be doing this with a group of people. Yeah. Somebody here's name is never about to be forgotten here. And that's what I'm seeing. Give me one more for this four of wands here with this piece. And you're about to meet somebody here that's going to bring you a lot of peace. Like, seriously. Oh, we got the Empress. Oh, my God. Somebody about to treat you like the queen that you are. I like the Empress that you are. Because you give out that love and energy. Oh my gosh, somebody's about to meet somebody that's about to literally spoil them. And I said that in the beginning, you're about to be gifted a relationship, money, like just the energy of abundance. And abundance is many things here. It ain't just about money. You are literally about to be gifted the things that you deserve because that's the energy that you give out. So like somebody here gives out positive, good energy here. I ain't saying that you're perfect. You might have, you. everybody has their moments where, they, you know, they might lose it a little bit. They might do some things that they don't really like. You know, nobody's perfect here. But overall, you are this empress. Overall. You're not overall no bad person, even if you do do some things that 
you know, don't align with you and your values and your morals. Overall, you are this empress. Clarify relationships here. <laughs> the two of cups, baby. <laughs> the sun. Y'all, what did I say when I seen the four of wands in the beginning with peace? What did I say? Because the sun was at the bottom of the deck when I seen, when I when the four of wands came out. I was like, and y'all and y'all about to have a kid here too? Like, yo, the two of cups and the sun just came out for relationships. Somebody here is about to get with somebody else that's very high vibrational and been working on themselves. And that's been through a lot of things here as well is what I'm hearing. And you want to have a kid. Oh my goodness, like two people are about to experience so much love, freedom, success, abundance, peace, and giving back. This could be you starting an organization with your soon-to-be wife or husband here. Seriously. With the King of Pentacles at the bottom, like you could be that could be a King of Pentacles getting ready to come to your life into your life. I just heard that from somebody. Like, what? I don't even need no more for that. <laughs> Clarify this service here. That's beautiful. And you deserve it. I swear you deserve it. Because wherever I'm picking up on here, like you are such a sweetheart. You got the king of swords for service. It's like the main thing that you're going to be offering people here is a chance to see their divinity, to stand in their truth here. To so make sure they're not the ones that's sabotaging their life. Don't blame other people. That's the type of energy I'm giving here. Like, you're going to be some type of counselor or something. Somebody meant to be some type of counselor here. Clarify this King of Swords with service. We got the hang one. Yeah, sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice to stand in your truth? To help yourself. What are you willing to sacrifice to help somebody else here as well? Could we talk about Pisces here? We got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck with the King of Wands. We already got the Empress out here. Yeah, somebody about to be rewarded here. It's like you're meant to help people see the truth in themselves here. Look at that judgment wanting to come out. You're meant to help people see the truth in themselves. The Ace of Swords. You are meant to help people see the truth in themselves. Pass judgment on yourself. Make sure you're not the one that's sabotaging your life here. And you're meant to help people answer their calling, to see their calling. That's nothing I'm getting over here with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, you're not just about giving people money and stuff. Like, you really want to help people... Dig deep and find their authentic truth, their reason for being here. Oh, wow. That's very powerful for somebody here. That's very powerful. Clarify this gratitude. I just say the high priestess and you're thankful for that. And we got the world. Yeah. Clarify this world with, that grat with gratitude. Ooh. Well, we got the three of cups here. Yeah, we already have the three of pentacles to come out right here for success. And gratitude is right under success. So definitely a group of three people here. Like just a group of people. You're about to meet your soul tribe. Somebody here is about to meet their soul tribe. People that are just like them. That's what I'm hearing. People that think just like you and want to do better in the world. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be doing some great things here. All right, let's close this out. Let's close it out. Who do you want to close it out on? We got humor here. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Like a whole bunch of light workers here. Empaths, star seeds, chosen ones. You know, chosen ones are... There are a variety of people that are chosen ones. It ain't just one specific group of people here. There's just a, just a lot of people that just want to see more love being placed on the planet. Clarify this humor. Look at that base of wands. Just a lot of people that want to see more love being placed on this planet. You guys are about to get together and use your magician-like energy and create magic. 
and bring more love to the planet, more light to the planet, more peace to the planet. That's exactly what I'm getting here. And you're going to be like, somebody's been passed up the time here. Like, you about to be the leader of a group of people here that are going to be doing a magnificent things. Clarify this Ace of Wands. You're about to be the leader of a group of people here. Oh, wow. The lovers. That's giving chosen one energy, baby. And then we got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And look what she's holding. The Queen of Wands is the Queen of the Wands here. You are about to be given past some type of baton here. You're very creative. Creativity. Something about your creativity, the way that you think. Like you have a mind here that's able to like go far. That's able to bring a lot of things into existence. And you're, you, like I said, you guys are going to be bringing a lot of love to the planet. Seriously. This is so beautiful. Like, this is a, a group of peacemakers here. Like I said, light workers, star seed, chosen ones. It's you guys' time at this moment. It is the chosen ones and empaths, the light workers. It is our time. We need more love on this planet. It's already enough dark energy as it is. Now we need that love. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, I just feel like, the, like whoever this energy is for, like, you about to be past something. You about to be given something. And you about to go ham. And a lot more love is about to be brought to the planet. Due to you and your creativity. And your will to want to do better. It's, it's like it's like literally a female Mr. Beast here. Like a female Mr. Beast. That's exactly what I'm getting here. Wow, this is beautiful. Seriously. Maybe one more, more like, okay, so what is your message to the collective here, divine? Whoever this message is for, what is your message to them? What do you need them to know, divine? Thank you. Shay. We got regret and then we got courage. I know that I cannot change the past. Clarify this regret. Nothing about, again, your, ooh, we got the eight of pentacles with the high priestess. It's given no longer living in the past and stepping into your high priestess energy. Like the high priestess knows a lot, like occult knowledge, things about magic, just everything. Everything that's hidden, the high priestess knows. And I feel like you've been working on developing your intuition, stepping into this. This uh, something about you incorporating the occult knowledge with helping people because more people can receive help. Through occult knowledge, it's like a like a Bobby like a Bobby Hemet and Dr. Villa Valentine in this day and age, but in some like like a twisted type of way. I don't know, and I'm, I'm getting something about astrology here too. Like you, I'm like somebody here is about to. I'm talking about really about to be a household name. Seriously, with the hermit at the bottom of the deck, you're about to be a household name. Seriously. People will never forget who you are. They will never they will never forget you. You're literally going to be helping people here that are still stuck in the past. That's nothing I'm getting with this regret. You're going to be helping people that's stuck in the past come out of the past and listen to their intuition more and help them see that they have the ability to do whatever it is that they want to do, whatever it is that makes them happy, that brings them joy, that brings them peace. That brings them love. What is that for you? I'm going to help you find it so you can get to it. Because it's time for everybody to step into their position here and step into whatever role they were meant to do here. You got some people that were meant to do dark things on the dark side, like the left-hand path and the right-hand path. Like There's like a lot of things here, many different areas that people were meant to do here. Some people were just sitting here to just get married, like... I don't know, just a, like a plethora of things. Yeah, somebody about to go ham here. I don't know what this message is for, but congratulations, babe. I, I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah.